everybody. We're back with another edition of Studio 90 Extra Time. I'm Heather Soltis, and I'm joined by U.S. Women's National Team defender Kelly O'Hara. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by Extra Time. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for having me. So we have a game that we're going to be playing with you here in a little bit. But first, I have to ask, we're here at the Olympics. It's your very first one. How amazing has this been so far? It's been incredible, like more than I could ever ask for. Um, you know, obviously the game against France, going down 2-0 and then coming back 4-2, was crazy and unexpected, but um, it was fun. And I'm happy that I have a game underneath my belt. And, you know, I think that the rest of the tournament's going to be exciting. And I just, I can't wait for the rest of it. We're going to play a little game that we're calling Backline Buddies. All right, let's do this. So here's how Backline Buddies is going to work. We want to know how well you know your fellow defenders on the back line. You're relatively new to the back line. Yes. So we're going to see how well you know your teammates here. All right. We asked each one of your fellow defenders to ask you a question about themselves, and we're okay. going to see how well you know them. You ready All right. for this? Yeah, let's do this. Let's see the first question. Hey, Kel, it's Amy. Um, what suburb of what major city did I grow up in? Uh, Amy's from what suburb of what major city? Just what major city? Las Vegas. Ooh. No. Salt Lake City? <laughs> Let's let Amy give you the answer. The answer is Chicago. No! Ooh. I thought that she was from Las Vegas. <laughs> That is so wrong. Amy's family lives in Reno now. Exactly. Ooh. I'm not crazy. Not crazy. I know I know her present life, which I that's, feel good that's about. That's what's important, right? Yeah, right? exactly. So let's check out the next question. Hi, Kelly. It's Rachel. Here's my question. As you know, Stanford has lots of awesome theme parties. What was always my favorite theme party in college? 80s. Let's see if you're right. The answer is the 80s theme yeah. party. That was one of my favorites, so I think I only went actually once. It was always in the spring, but it was uh, pretty epic. What was, your, what was your 80s get up? I think I had like a um, off the shoulder sweatshirt with the spandex and the headband and like the really ridiculous eye makeup, so. It's a it classic, was, yeah, the classic good. 80s look. Yeah. So speaking of Bueller, did you ever in a million years imagine that you would be playing with her on the back line of the U.S. Women's National Team after being college teammates? No, never. Because the only time that Bueller and I ever played together was at Stanford and then obviously WPS too, but it was always her in the back and me in the front, and I never thought in a million years I would be playing right next to her. But it's been wonderful because she's been a really big reason that I've been able to feel comfortable back there. She's definitely talked me through a lot and supported me in the transition, so it's been nice to have her. Well, let's go to the next question. Hey Kelly, it's Becky. Here are my questions. Do you remember the conversation we had a few days ago about how life tends to work out? Here's a hint has something to do about last summer and where we were and where we are this summer. Yes. What was that conversation? Um, in the locker room before the, the uh, France game, we sit next to each other. And so um, she looked at me and she was like, can you believe that last summer you were at the World Cup, like not really getting any playing time as a midfielder. And now I'm starting games as an outside back, which is completely different. So that was the conversation. Let's hear it from Becky. The answer is, last summer, you had made the team as an alternate, and you had played as an outside midfielder for about 10 minutes. And this summer, you're an outside back, and you're starting the, the first game of the Olympics and played amazing. Oh, Oh, that was perfect. It was a good conversation. So you made the roster of that World Cup team because Lindsay Tarpley got injured and you only got to play about 10 minutes in the entire World Cup. Yes. How did that experience help you now getting to start in the Olympics? Well, when I got into the World Cup last year, first of all, Pia had said, you know, going into it, you're probably not going to see the field at all. You're going to be a practice player. And I was fine with that because I didn't even make the team originally. Um, but when she put me into the game against Sweden, I played terribly and I actually had a conversation with 
Lori Lindsay, she looked at me because I like just had this terrible expression on my face. She was like, what's wrong? And I was like, that was the biggest epic fail of my life. And we both just died laughing because <laughs> it was like true, but there was nothing you could do about it. It was over and done with. Um, I've definitely come very far in terms of nerves and being comfortable on the field. So I'm, I'm thankful to be in the place I am today. Let's uh, check out another question. Hey, Kel, it's Heather. Um, after I retire, what am I going to have to remember you by always? She's going to have the scars on her legs from me tackling her. But that's not true. If she would just take care of them, put a little, you know, Neosporin on it, they'll be fine. She'll be fine. <laughs> Let's hear Heather's description of what happened. The answer is two cleat marks on my shin. Thanks to you. We'll always remember you. Love you, Kel. <laughs> So what happened? What happened between you and Heather? Well, we got our new cleats from Nike um, in Salt Lake City, and mine, I guess, were really sharp. I think that they, like, filed them a certain way. Um, and in the first practice in Salt Lake City, uh, we were playing possession, and she was trying to tackle me, and there was, like, a scuffle, and she went down um, and ended up rolling her ankle and had some decent cleat marks on her shin from me, which were unintentional, but um, yeah, they ha that happened. And I, I feel pretty bad about it. I mean, come on, we all get like scraped up during practices. <laughs> like you gotta take care of the bod and it's gonna be fine. I told her at least she didn't hurt the money maker, you know? Maybe she just wants that memory of you on her shin. Yeah, I mean, she's gonna look at that and be like, oh, Kelly, you know? <laughs> Love her. <laughs> well, now we have one final question from oh, your captain. Man. All right. Hey, Kelly, it's Christy. Here is your question. How old were you when I received my first cap? All right. I think she got her first cap in 99. I was, I was 10 or maybe nine. Let's see. The answer is, in 1997, I got my first cap in Australia, and you were nine. Oh, I was nine. I just did the math wrong. Yeah. Yes. All right. Hey, Kelsey. Oh, man, nice that's job. awesome. Yeah. Hey, I got it right. Well, Christy's been on the team for a long time. She yes. has so much experience. How amazing is she to play with, and how much has she helped you transition into the back line? I mean, she's incredible. She, I, she's like Superwoman, Captain America, everything in between. Um, I don't know very many people who could do that, if any, besides her. Um, but she has been awesome and has definitely been patient with me. I would be very easy to get impatient because I've been learning and it's taken me a while. But before the game uh, against France, she just gave me a big hug in the locker room and just said, have fun. And that was honestly, like that settled my nerves and was all I needed, so it was great. Well, Kelly, thank you so much for joining us on Studio 90 Extra Time. Thank you for having me. You can see Kelly and the U.S. Women's National Team take on Columbia on Saturday at noon Eastern time. That game will air live on the NBC Sports Network and the NBC Olympic Soccer Channel. Woo! Yeah! Woo!